hi good people welcome to my channel this is your girl Pila Lokadi. i am a qualified educator teaching in limpopo province if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe please do turn on that notification button so that you may see my next video well i've got everything to be grateful to god for um if you do follow me on my instagram page you realize that I received some awards and I'm absolutely proud of myself and I'm grateful to God because it has been like two years to three years working in the Department of Education and I've done so well. I want to inspire somebody that is aspiring to be an educator. I'm saying it's possible. I'm saying teaching is nice, although it does have challenges, but you can do things that you wish to do to change the lives of the learners that we teach so i just want to show you guys so this is an award that i got for um obtaining 100 percent in english first additional language halala to me <laughs> and halala to god <laughs> yeah and then this one is for um the category of ICT, I entered um, National Teachers Award. I think you guys saw a picture somewhere that I uploaded as well. Um, yeah, so you guys know that um, we're trying to enhance technology as much as possible in our classes. It is 21st century and we're actually late because according to the NDP, we are supposed to be implementing technology every day and integrating it in our lessons all the time. So big ups to God. <laughs> yeah, I hope you are definitely inspired. I do have some certificates as well, which I can use when I apply for posts or all those things so this is just to inspire somebody that yeah is really passionate about teaching if you want to make a difference in those learners lives i'm saying it's possible don't be degraded by people that tell you that um you won't make it the system is bad yes it is absolutely bad but you can come up with strategies you so guys without wasting any more further time let's get to the business of the day today we're going to be talking all things mathematics in the foundation phase um i posted a video about um number chats on tiktok and on instagram and i got such overwhelming um, messages from parents from teachers saying um they never they've never seen this method um i think this is one of the methods that i was given by god gosh <laughs> because i never saw it anyway one time in class um i had this group of learners that didn't understand addition and some had challenges with um Multiple cases. I realized as I was trying to come up with methods and strategies of teaching them um, all those um, number operations and all that, and I noticed that I can actually use this to add. And after adding, I also realized that I can use it to, you know, subtract, divide, and all those things. So one of the benefits of using a number chart in class or with your child at home is the fact that you are teaching them how to count numbers and also how to write them so if they are familiar with this then they're definitely gonna know what you're talking about when you talk about 10 or 11 or 9 or 8 because they sit on the number chart all the time right so I'm gonna um, work with these numbers, the ones that I wrote here. You can use any number because my number chart is from one to 200. So I'm gonna be using these numbers. The first number is seven times two and then 20 plus seven, 10 divided by two and 78 minus nine. So I have actually covered um, all the operations, right? So I'm gonna um, just use um, these numbers and the number chart. And yeah, let me just have the camera closer so that we can work with this. 
okay like i said guys my number chart is from one up to 200 right so i made copies for each elena um and they have it in their files so they can always um count when they're at home they can always practice um different numbers um and then in the morning i also um give them different numbers when we do mental math right you don't have to use a number chart all the time but for basics and for some students that cannot comprehend um, this number operations you can actually use a number chart to assist i normally give my students different methods for different um for different sums so yeah this is just one of the strategies so let's begin with seven times two right so first thing first um you'll have to mark the number seven okay i think i need a pencil for this okay um i think i'll use a pencil because i'm still gonna use this book so it's seven then you have to multiply it by two right so um from seven we're going to add another seven isn't it that we have the first seven so it will be one two three four five six seven and then we arrived at 14. so that will be our answer right so we got 14. right now let's do 20 plus 7. we're moving to addition now so we're going to mark 20 on our number chart here is 20 now we're going to add 7 right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 we arrived at 27 so that means 20 plus 7 is equal to 27 right now we move into division um so we have 10 divided by 2. um i just want to make note that every time you deal with division or with foundation phase kids tell them the principle of sharing right so what you're going to have to tell them is that when you do division, you have to share things equally amongst people. For example, if we have 10 divided by 2, that means we have 10 sweets or 10 chips. Then we have to divide them to, um, among two people equally. No one must get more than the other. They must be equal, right? So that is the principle with division. I know that a lot of foundation phase kids are struggling with division, but if you tell them the principle of sharing evenly, then I don't think they will struggle, right? So in order for 10 divided by two to make sense to the little ones, you tell them that it's like you have 10 hot dogs and you have to share them evenly amongst two people. Or you have to share them among you and your friends. You must get them. Um, you must get equal hot dogs, right? So with division, this is what we're going to do. Isn't it that we have to divide them amongst two people? So it will be 10. And then here we have one, right? So we're going to break this into half. So they must get equal share it's like they're getting 50 50 right so let's see when we divide this by half so one two three four five one two three four five so that means 10 divided by two is five each of them will get five hot dogs or five sweets right now let's move to subtraction um let's find 78 and take out 9 right 
so every time you teach subtraction make sure that you explain the principle of moving or taking out something so we have 78 sweets for an example and then we have to take away nine sweets and give them away right we are not selfish so we must give away right okay so this is 78 now we have to take out nine sweets right so it's going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine so that means our answer is 69 right so we'll write um 69 right even if you use a calculator on this um you still get the answers correct so i used the simplest numbers so that this method doesn't get complicated you can use 200 minus 10 or minus 13 you can use 111 you can use 98 whatever the number is on the number chart but you cannot obviously say 200 um plus 15 or else your number chart ends with 200 right but as as you go on and about teaching your child or your learners um, you can start um, actually coming up with tricky questions to say what is 199 plus 5 you know then they will tell you that the answer is not on the chart but they may use their fingers now to add or they may use other methods to add but just after you have taught them how this works right so this method is definitely for those who are struggling i do have other methods that i have uploaded on tiktok and on my instagram page so do follow do like do subscribe so guys this method absolutely works for um those learners that we keep for after program after school program um, those learners that we keep for remedial classes so do apply this method to see or to measure the child right so that's it from me thank you so much guys for watching don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe i am at being an educator rsa on instagram